When tightening lug nuts, we often measure torque, but the goal is to achieve proper clamping force. In addition to torquing lug nuts as a spec, there are other factors you need to consider too, which tire review contributor Scott Blair recently shared with me. I'll share them with you next. If you've taken TIA's certified training, you may have heard of the RIST procedure. It stands for remove debris, inspect the lugs and matting surfaces, snug the lug nuts, and torque the spec. Our first tip is to treat each of these as equals. It's important that not one of these steps is ignored, as overlooking the first two steps could negate the benefits of the latter two. Another tip is to take time to clean the matting surfaces of any visible rust, grease, or corrosion. This will help prevent vibration caused by uneven surfaces and joint settling, which can lead to decreased clamping force. To do the job properly, inspecting the matting surfaces and lug holes goes beyond just a quick glance. When installing aftermarket wheels, be sure to rotate the assembly while running the lugs down by hand in a star pattern. This causes the lugs to center the wheel. If you let the wheel hang on the lug studs and run the lugs on with your impact gun, you can end up with a false torque reading. In this case, as the customer drives the vehicle, they might feel a vibration and the wheel can loosen up. Another tip is to always secure the lugs with a calibrated clicker or digital torque wrench. Many technicians use pneumatic impact guns, but these can have a wide range of torque depending on the amount of air pressure and volume. Just keep in mind that wrenches must be calibrated periodically or replaced. If yours has been in the shop for much more than a year, it's probably time to have them calibrated and verified. I'm David Sickles coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.